Can you describe it, let's say, in three words or less? You know, what is Dela to you? Dela is on-chain marketplace with a double-layered escrow system to protect users, to protect buyers. It is a fully on-chain uh, market for e-commerce. So today we're speaking with Rata from Dela. So to start, Rata, can you start with an introduction of your background and experience? Well, I am Rata. I am a lawyer and I have over a decade of experience about the law. Mostly, I just have experience at the criminal law, blockchain. In the recent years, I just studied about the investigations and the blockchain law related stuff. And I am also investing into Bitcoin and the relative altcoins since 2015. And I think I became much more professional by 2018 in the first beer market I was involved. In that time, I just made many successful investments. I, I just became angel investor, early investor. By 2019, I just selected as a market maker because I have, I just created a huge volume at Binance Futures. So I just collaborating with them. And during 2020 and 2021, I just mostly spent time to develop Dela and just took lesser trade, but still I am trading and investing and in, in the same time I'm building. And you mentioned you have a criminal background. More or less unique, right, for blockchain uh, entrepreneurs. I have a PhD education at criminal law. So it just allowed me to combine my technical law expertise with the blockchain. Because blockchain, there is a lot of fraud and scammers. And it is much easier for me to identify the intention of the people. So are they trying to scam? Are they trying to hack? Are they trying to do something illegal? Or are, are they uh, legit people or doing something legitimate? So, you know, the things I learned the traditional law, the criminal law, it just really helped me a lot to create a safer ecosystem for myself at the blockchain. Moving on to Dela itself, right, your project. Uh, let's first do this, right? Can you describe it, let's say, in three words or less? You know, what is Dela to you? Dela is on-chain marketplace with a double-layered escrow system to protect users, to protect buyers. It is a fully on-chain uh, market for e-commerce. Well, Escrow, you know, this is basically when there is a third party, let's say, to, you know, confirm or make sure that when the services are being bought and sold, right? You know, it's actually going through as promised. Then uh, why do we need to bring it to the blockchain? You know, why can't we just continue with the Amazon model? First of all, at the blockchain, you know, blockchain is actually a network system. And that network system explained at Bitcoin white paper in 2009. When the Satoshi wrote that white paper, he just said his main intention is to protect sellers. And he said the current system at traditional finance is rewarding buyers and protecting buyers but not sellers so he just eliminating the third party to protect sellers what we see during that 10 years 12 years 13 years is sellers are overprotected at blockchain and the buyers are turning into victim more, more victim more fraud more scamming and satoshi recommended a solution to protect buyers at bitcoin white paper at page one he said the usual escrow systems can protect buyers and i will protect with the blockchain the sellers but during the 13 year if you look behind till very that day we clearly see that no escrow system was efficient to protect buyers it is the reason why we're trying something to build on blockchain to protect buyers as well as in the same level of the uh, sellers get the protection so it's almost like uh, you're bringing this you know trust and verification element from the original bitcoin vision into e-commerce yes so let's just say i am the seller right and i see dell as a place to you know sell my goods then uh what's like the journey for me let me explain you know, the traditional escrow systems right now at the blockchain works like that I am a trusted third party and you are a seller and you will sell your services or your goods to a person, let's say Alice. To sell Alice, what we do is Alice sends her funds to me and I just keep it at my wallet. But it is very inefficient because I am as a human and a person, first I can use the funds, second I can steal, third I can fraud and scam you, five I can die, you know, you are a seller and you just interacting with a smart contract after you create an nft you are listing it at dela marketplace and a seller a buyer or a retail is coming to dela marketplace and he check your nfts and if he's interested to buy 
he just bites. The moment the retail or buyer bought your NFT, we just take your we just take buyer's fund to our escrow smart contract. In that moment, the buyer don't have control over his funds, and you don't have control over the buyer's funds. Funds are safe and inside the smart contract we just keep it. After you done the work, right? After you complete the work and you deliver the good or you just finish the service you are willing to get. So you just press the confirmation and if the buyer is satisfied, if buyer consider work is done, the buyer also give confirmation and the smart contract automatically sending funds to seller to you on the blockchain fully autonomous uh, system and let's say you know buyer wanted to buy but later changed his mind and spoke with you and you both party agreed to not proceed for further so you both have a giving a confirmation to cancel cancel then the funds has been sent back to buyer and the nft is sent back to seller if a dispute happened between buyer and seller so then as a dealer team we just take a spot and we list the parties and deciding which party is right which side is try to scam other side or is there any misunderstanding or how we can resolve that dispute guys for the latest news and updates be sure to follow our social media including twitter facebook telegram groups and tiktok there you go, follow us. Links down below.